Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a uh, Friday night episode of uh, Beers, Bands, and Guitars at Barnes. No guitar tonight. But tonight is kind of a uh, special review night. I got two debut items that I'm going to review tonight. First item is the Mummers Tea. If you're from Philadelphia, you know who the Mummers are. They got their annual parade coming up in a few days. My cousin Vinny. Yes, I said it. My cousin Vinny. Gave me a can of this on uh, Monday. Told him I'll review it uh, this Friday. So I'm going to get that done. Push that to the side. And then I'm going to mm -hmm. wash it down with a very special bottle of bourbon that was delivered to me today. A client of mine shipped this to me. Look this up. This is quite the exquisite, expensive bottle of uh, bourbon. It's called the Left Cross Puncher's Chance. Got high hopes for this. I was reading the uh, label. I was like, ooh, I cannot wait to taste that. Essentially, it's a uh, straight bourbon whiskey, but they age it in dark Jamaican cask. So this should be awesome. I don't know how the two are going to combine, but we're going to find out. So let me uh, get this uh, Mummer's Tea open. Get that out of the way first. Seems like everyone's making tea nowadays. You got Twisted Tea. You got the uh, Fishtown Tea. The Wawa Teas. So let's see how the uh, Mummer's Tea do does it. This is a filled tea made with premium Kiki Vodka. Great. Vodka and bourbon. Should be a great time in here tonight. All right. Get that open. And since it's from the Mummers, if you've been down the second street, you know there's no glasses and no cups straight from the can. So cheers on the uh, Mummers tea. All right, I'm not gonna lie, honestly, it tastes like a diet tea to me. I don't know why. It's like a homemade tea, but not real sweet, which I kind of like. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'm gonna go 7.1. We'll give the uh, Mummers tea. Actually, it's Mummers Row Philly tea, a 7.1. And now let's get on to the uh, exquisite here. Get this uh, label off. Like I said, this was shipped to me today. Seriously considered cracking this in the car on the way home, but you know, being a DUI lawyer and all, you can't do that. Get that off. There we go. Ooh. You can smell the, uh, the rum. That smells good. That smells good. Let's uh, give her a little pour. I'm gonna be professional about this one, considering the uh, cost when I looked it up. Put the lid back on. Go. Give a little stir. Notice no ice. I don't think you should be allowed to put ice in a. Uh, bourbon of this quality but I'm not that huge of a bourbon guy so if you are let me know in the comments but uh here it goes cheers Ooh. nice super smooth you can taste dark chocolate Vanilla, oh, this is awesome. It also comes in at a whopping 96 proof. So you gotta be careful if you're gonna uh, drink this. You don't wanna uh, go cocktail on me, you know? Drink a whole bottle of bourbon, or in his case, he was drinking a bottle of uh, Louis XIV brandy and drank himself to death. Or did he shoot himself in the face? I don't remember. Hey, Neff, let me know in my comments how uh, Doug Coglin off himself in a cocktail. Was it gone or did the booze do it? I don't remember. Anyway, this uh, Left Cross bourbon, spectacular. 9.5, dead serious. If you're a bourbon guy, go out, treat yourself to a bottle of this. You will not be uh, disappointed. I apologize for my dog. I have no idea why she's crying. There's no food out. There's a cup from Wendy sitting on there. So who knows? Maybe she wants that. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, go watch some uh, Christmas movies, 
finish this up. And until then, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Please uh, share the video. And I will see everyone soon. Oh, by the way, please check out my short I did this morning. It's been getting quite the uh, number of views. I'd like to see if I can get that to like maybe 1,000, 2,000 views. That'd be kind of neat. All right, everyone. I will see you soon. Have a good night.